The road to you was long and difficult, and I thought I may never find my person. I promise to continue to dance every step of life with you, no matter what the location is. In the words of Maya Angelou, love recognizes no barriers. It jumps hurdles, leaps fences, and penetrates walls to arrive at its destination. Allie and Kyle, may your love continue to conquer all obstacles, bringing hope, happiness, and your journey together. Since the very beginning of this journey with you, I knew my soul needed you. I knew very early on that I loved you and knew that you would be in my life forever. I've waited my whole life to meet you, someone who always wants me to be the best version of myself. You are my heart. You are my heart. You are my dream. Come alive. My Oh my god. <laughs> like a wow. Train. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're shaking, you're a little nervous. A little bit. Oh, I want to spin. Oh, you want to spin? Yeah. Calm down, buddy. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I feel like good. You are my heart. You are my heart. You are my dream. Today is the day that we will remember as the day we began our great adventure together. Kyle, there are so many things I love and adore about you. Most importantly, I love you for who you are. I admire that you wear your heart in your sleeve and care for those around you. I love how you make me your number one and I will make you my number one for life. I could spend the next hour telling you how beautiful, how funny, witty and smart you are. I love you for exactly who you are. You're the most patient and caring person and you never cease to amaze me. When my patience was at its thinnest, I showed up for our first date. I'll never forget seeing you finally show up almost 30 minutes late. By the time they asked us to leave, I knew you were someone that I needed in my life. Looking back, what was another 30 minutes of waiting for the person that I get to spend the rest of my life with. It was that patience that helped me become the person I needed to be for. Hey, I remember it like it was only yesterday. You made me a promise, yeah, you said you'd always stay, yeah. I gave you my heart like it was better off that way. Everything was different, but we always stayed the same. Look me in the eyes and tell me what you want to say I can see the honesty, it's pouring from your face, yeah Never could replace, yeah I just want to stay here I'll give you the love that I know that you need it I'll treat you the way you deserve to be treated Can I say it loud? I will love you till the day that I die Cross my heart In marriage, we say not only I love you today, but I promise to love you for all of our tomorrows. Allison and Kyle had an interesting start to their love story. In the fall of 2019, they were introduced by Jane, Allison's childhood best friend, and John, Kyle's friend from college. Their first date was four months later in February, 2020. But just six weeks later, they were faced with a pandemic. When I met you for the first time, I was not looking for love. I was in the middle of one of the worst chapters of my life. I never thought I could love someone again or have someone love me. Our relationship has had very many highs and lows. We have moved across the state with our new jobs, new additions to our family. You have been there for me while working through COVID in graduate school. Through our relationship, we found our ways to always let each other know that the other is on our mind. At first, they started as something we'd slip into each other's lunch 
when the other wasn't looking, but they evolved to a note on the fridge in the morning or a scribble on the score sheet. And most importantly, these vows we wrote today. But this alley was the first note and I still carry it with me every day. It begins with a quote from the poet Rumi. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. The quote really stuck with me through these past three years. I seldom thought someone could be everything I ever needed, but also someone who has helped me learn so much about myself in the process. Love is not about how much you say I love you. Love is an action, a pattern of devotion in the things we do for each other each and every day. You come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by seeing an imperfect person perfectly. I vow to always love you with every part of me, to defend you, to always keep you and your interests in tandem with mine. I promise to always put us first and to never stop growing with you. I promise to love you no matter what may come our way and be your best friend, your partner, your cheerleader, and your advocate. I vow to be yours until the end of time with my whole heart, mind, body, and soul. Lastly, I promise to love you 3,000 for the rest of our days. In accordance with the laws of the state of Ohio and the power vested in me, it is with great joy that I pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, please kiss your beautiful bride. I can't imagine my life without you. It's an honor to introduce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kaja. I can't imagine my life without you. Through our time in college, Kyle and I grew to form a very strong bond. I consider Kyle to be a brother to me. And what do brothers do? They fight, they pick on each other relentlessly. They are rivals at literally everything, but they also have each other's backs through thick and thin. As Ellie's sister, I've had the privilege of witnessing her journey to this moment with a nine year age gap between us. I've been able to appreciate and watch her grow into the amazing person that she is today. Kyle and I have always remained very close and that's how I knew that you would be the best man in my wedding. But when you said that you were bringing a date, not only a date, but one that had pursued you, well, I was wildly intrigued. I had to meet this Miss Allie Pat. When Allie first introduced me to Kyle, it was clear that there was something special between them. Allie, you are smart as a whip. You are bold and you're the perfect compliment to my best friend. You make Kyle happy, you make him smile. And as his brother, I couldn't ask for anything else. As I got to know Kyle better, I realized he's not just the guy who makes my sister happy and tolerates her attitude. He's the one who completes her. I know they'll continue to make each other laugh, grow together and build a life filled with love and unforgettable memories. We will have memories to be laughing about well into our gray hair days. 